My name is Hatsuhiko Wada. I'm from Waseda University in Japan. My field is Japanese modern literature. However, I, st I have studied not only Japanese literature, but uh, readers and readers' circumstances of Asian books in the world. Here in VIU, I have two courses. One course is comparing East and West, building Asian collections in Western countries. Another one is uh, print culture and readers in modern Japan. The words print culture or Asian collections may sound uh, aesthetic or cultural, but I'd like to emphasize that the main focus of my lecture is on the politic, political and economic factors which influence uh, Asian collections or print culture. Let me cite an example. When I studied in New York 10 years ago, I encountered an old photograph, an old photograph of 1930s New York. And there was in the picture a library truck, a black automobile, and the words uh, Japan Reference Library were on it. Why in 1930s in New York did such a truck exist? It was the foreign ministry of Japan who supported this library project, and the aim was the easing of strained relationship between Japan and the US. And the strained relationship was caused by the antipathy of Americans toward Asian immigrants and Japan's invasion of other Asian countries. So the studies on the history of Asian collections can be a nice practice to learn about the international relationships between various countries from the past. And this is the basic concept of my lecture. And I would like to also mention about my another course, uh, Print Culture and Readers in Modern Japan. It is not the general introduction of Japanese print culture. Uh, the focus of my lecture is not only the books themselves, but the relationship between books and readers. How can we clarify the relationships between readers and books? This is what we will study in my course. There are various intermediate factors between readers and books. For example, libraries, publishers, bookshops, etc. And our print culture depends on these intermediate factors. If these intermediate factors are controlled, the readers or readers' circumstances are also controlled. That's why we need to study these issues. And these intermediate factors uh, vary in each country or in each time period. So the print culture in modern Japan is just one case. And I hope many students from various countries will learn about this research method and will compare their own print cultures with others and will deepen uh, the, the views on print cultures in the world. Thank you very much.